Today we're out and about at Newcastle Airport on our way to Grand Canaria with my little trab. The room got to have a pint before we go. Hope you enjoy this video. Now we're going out and about, we've finally left the airport on our way to the hotel. It's only 26 degrees. Love it. Here we are in Torito. We made it to our resort. I'm staying at the Levo Hotels, Lago Trito. There's the water park. Got here about an hour ago. Go check it out. Yeah, it's now about six o'clock. Sunset six forty. So it's gonna have an easy night tonight. Uh, Torito, Vivo, Hotels, Lago Torito, and Water Park. Hi there, CJ. So, when you come from the airport and you come through a lovely drive through mountain ranges, through tunnels, I've never seen anything like it. I think I stayed on the other side last time round, so I didn't, I didn't see this side. So, this is Torito. On the uh, the coach dropped us off here with instructions to go through here, go right, and look for our hotel, Evo Lago Torito, where I'm staying at. Kind of little three star hotel. Um, it is what it is, it's all inclusive. I come in with two boys, so there's cheap getaway. I say it's cheap, but it's still quite expensive, right? But yeah, doesn't matter, does it? When it's uh, 28 degrees and it's only about six at home, who cares? Yeah, so pretty straightforward. You just bring suitcases through here, past this crowd here. Right, that's him. Go there, fun park. I'll show you that later on. This is included in the hotel. This is the water park. It's closed now. You just come here in the morning and you just give you a number. It's yours for the day. The drinks aren't included, you pay for the drinks separately, but you can buy a day pass, I believe, where you can get all inclusive drinks, but we didn't bother doing that. It's good to have a break from drinking. But uh, yeah, what through here? On the way to your hotel, excursion area. Is that lovely there? Hello, hello. Yeah, and all your sort of usual tat shop. I say tat. Pharmacies, electric shops, lots of goodies. It's absolute gauntlet of stuff here. It's been a nightmare with my seven year old. Old chemist. More stuff for sale. You never go short here. Put your stuff going. It's here. Yeah, so when you come through with your suitcases first, this is your hotel. Vivo Hotel. There's a the water park, it's closed now. I'll show you that tomorrow. Go to the hotel. Just checking area over there. Come and go bar. All your drinks. So she lifts up to your room there, straight ahead. Right, I'll show you to the restaurant area. It's open at the moment, but I'll show which way so you come. Left from the uh, reception. This little chill out area. Bit of dope. Get the sun for a bit. The 
and try and avoid people in it. Lovely little feature in the entrance to the restaurant area. Closed at the moment. You get free free time slots, like a first, second and third. They've never really followed the the gardens really, but yeah. I was coming here to be honest with you, but it hasn't really been that busy. Again, I'll show you around there another time. I'm staying on the sixth floor, I'm 604, and I have a family room. Like the wave, little hob, fridge. There's no cooking appliances, there's no kettles, just uh, four glasses, not even cups. To be honest with you, I've not really asked if you can hide them from uh, reception. Uh, so it's a family room, three of us. That was a pull out bed, but I put it all back together and just I just slept on it as a single just because it was a bit more comfy. Little chair, lamp, TV, didn't bother with it. Storage area there. Outside balcony. Nice little four seated table area. And then. Just two single beds pushed together really. Just a trick. And uh wardrobe space. If I mean the three of us just managed to get things in, I think a bigger family might struggle personally, but you have got the storage area inside the living room, the drawers, so you could put stuff in there really. Safe, hide the key from reception. And then bathroom. Does the trick. Shower. Bath. Yeah. That's it really. How much to it? You don't spend time in your room, do you? Just somewhere to get your head down. Walk a doty. And there we have it. The service. I'll do it now because it's quite a. Uh, I just got the drinks on the way in. Find yourself a nice table. Uh, I'm here, move along. Fried eggs. Bacon. Cold meats, cheese. Fruits, cereals. Sweet stuff, donuts, croissants, toast, or toast, toast machines, rolls, jams, microwaves, as your plates, knife and forks, napkins, there's your coffee area, hot drinks. Ciao. This is dinner time menu. It's in the evening. It's there. Salads.
Yes, there's a ground floor down there. This is the ground floor. There's your lifts to your room. There's lifts there closer to the restaurants. This is the first floor, the terrace area. You, get the, you can't get the lift to here, like. Sun lounges, try and grab them pretty air, they go quite quick. Up there. The bar, the bar there serving all inclusive drinks all day. All until the pool closes. There's a the little pool there, the company of the hotel. A decent size, a bit warmer, but obviously you've got the water park over there. A little bit more space. Pretty nippy in that one though. Yep, I'll show you that tomorrow. So sort of if you come up the uh, the dining area and you go right, this is the entertainment area. It's they share this with uh, other hotels in the area. There's a bit of a sports bar. Casino, few machines over there. You come over here night time. It's all these sort of benches. A little bit of uh, a couple of trampolines. A little bit of a carousel. Soft play. A couple of trampolines. An arcade area. Okay, so you go in there and you buy your your tokens and tickets for the trampoline and the. Uh, Soft play and these big trampolines. So you come to this sort of uh, area in the night time after, after your evening meal and the start of the mini disco about 8 o'clock, followed by whatever show after. So just check, check on the boards. They do like uh, popcorn, candy floss in there. And like I say, other hotels in the chain. Share, share this facility too, so it gets quite busy. It's definitely different to where a lot of other setups, you know, it's, it's in the open space, you're literally off, off site, so be a bit more careful with your little ones. Yeah, but it works. It works all, obviously the bar's there all night. There you go, start up. Ciao for now. Happy you birthday. We are down to the beach. I wish I went to the beach. Sun's setting in now. All your essentials here for the beach. Beach balls, buckets and spades, beach towels, sunglasses, floaties, inflatables, hats, drinks, sun creams, you name it. Hats, Dad. tops, yeah. Of course, where?
Woman 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 Hola. Still uh, filming. Okay. I'm here. I'm here. Still good. Yeah, cheers Kevin. I'll just uh, lap it up son, over here. He's got a ball dead, hasn't he? So if you're flying with Jet 2 and you're using their in-flight check-in service, there's the Lago Hotel that we stayed at. You need to just cross the road to the same place that you arrived from. Got that hotel across there. And on the right, the conference room, and there's two Jet 2 uh, stands. Pretty straightforward. I say the suitcase is back in Newcastle. It's for that. Excuse me. How much for the sunglasses? No, five, no, twenty. Twenty dollars. Hey, my friend, the shop broken. 